far the most common question that I'm asked about homemade dog food is how much does it cost? And obviously when you're making food with whole food, healthy ingredients, you're using some super foods for your pup, the higher quality food is gonna cost more money. And that can be said for homemade food, that can also be said for commercial diets. So depending on the ingredients that you use, the quality of those ingredients, it's gonna vary the price per portion of your homemade food. But this inexpensive dog food is a favorite of mine. It's simple to make. I use venison. We live in Maine and uh, you can hunt deer here. So my husband is actually a hunter and we have venison readily available for most of the year um, in our freezer and we can use that for dog food at little to no cost. If you don't have a resource like that, you could substitute ground beef. That's a fairly inexpensive protein source. You could use ground chicken or ground turkey. Um, anything in your area, depending on the region that you live in, different protein sources are going to be more affordable than others. And that can be said for the time of the year as well. Certain protein sources are cheaper during certain times of the year. So if you don't have a freezer full of game meat like we do, feel free to shop around at your local grocery store and check out the protein sources, see what you can get um, that's going to be the cheapest option. And um, you can substitute that protein source for the venison in this recipe. This low cost dog food is as easy to make as it is affordable. So the first thing I did, I took three pounds of venison, ground venison, and I just cooked it um, on the stove top until it was cooked thoroughly, broke it into little pieces like you would for taco meat. Venison is a really lean protein source. So if you're using game meat, um, you typically don't have to drain any fat. If you're using Hamburg, say like 75% uh, lean Hamburg, you're gonna have quite a bit of grease and you're gonna wanna drain that. Um, so this would be your protein source cooked, broken into small pieces and drained. And then here I have one and a half cups, it was one and a half cups of dry brown rice. And I cooked that according to the instructions on the packaging. So now I have about three cups of cooked brown rice. Rice usually doubles in size when it cooks. I'm gonna give that a little toss just to mix it around some. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. So I have a uh, one tablespoon of olive oil, one cup of carrots chopped. Now I add all my vegetables raw. You could certainly cook those if you wanted to, especially if your dog is more finicky and he isn't gonna eat the raw veggies. My dogs love raw vegetables, so I don't worry about that. So I have the one cup of carrots, half a cup of celery. I have one small zucchini that I've chopped and you can see that I left the skin right on it. Um, again, if you want to peel it, you can, but there are some beneficial nutrients in the skin. Um, if you click the link below this video, it'll tell you more about that. And so I go ahead and leave that skin on there. And then I have three cups of chopped spinach. And all I'm going to do is mix this all around, make sure, you know, everything's thoroughly mixed together, everything's all even, and then you can serve it to your dog um, as soon as it cools. You can see my meat and rice. Uh, I just finished cooking, so there's some steam coming off of them. So I'm gonna wait until it's cooled completely and then I can feed it to my dog. If you want to know the serving size guidelines or the nutritional facts for this recipe, click the link below the video. It'll take you to my written recipe. You can see photos there and you can also, as I said, get all of the serving size and nutritional information and you can print the recipe easily too if you wanna have to keep it on hand um, to make for your dog in the future. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video recipe.